Hey guys, welcome back to AppCode. In the last episode of the Spring Boot GraphQL series, we show you how to use fragments, right? In this episode, we are showing you how to create a custom scala type using GraphQL Java Kickstart, right? Basically, under the hood, uh, it's GraphQL Java libraries being used, right? So let's get started. So guys, I'm first first I'm going to add uh, something called Scala, right? Scala local date. Okay. So as you remember, uh, we were developing a book author, basically a library management or book management system. Yeah, we had a book, right? So now I'm going to add a publish date to this book type. So I need the local date type supported by the GraphQL scheme. So in order to do, do that, I have added Scala local date here. But this is not get recognized out of the box, right? We need to tell GraphQL engine how to pass the string to local date and how to serialize the local date into a string, right? Now we need to add the uh, GraphQL Scala type uh, to of local date. Let's add the class called GraphQL local date. Right? This class should extend GraphQL Scala type. Right? Now I need to construct a, but uh, current version it's. Uh, deprecated has deprecated its super method because they are going to introduce a builder pattern right so just uh, it's just a matter of changing to the uh, new builder pattern after developing right so basically it has a causing thing uh, same as the what we are going to do here right so basically we need to pass a name that would be the name of this color type right so for the description local date type i'll add local date type right for the coursing uh, we we don't need that actually these constructors because uh, passing out outside of the graphql local date but inside we need to pass the name and the description and the course into the uh, superclass which is the GraphQL Scala type, right? So let's pass new coursing, right? Uh, to get type support, I'm going to delete this one and add the diamond operator. If we go to coursing, uh, it specify I and O, that is input and output, right? So let's add input as the local date. And output as the string right so now we need to implement methods uh, so if we serialize this one the object uh, it will return the string if we want to pass the string it will return the local date right so I'll format this one and we can run the application uh, if we have some errors when the pass in the schema it will report us right so let's run the application okay guys application has started that means we don't have any errors now up to now right okay so let's implement the method uh, the serialization and deserialization and the pass literal thing right for the serialization we need to check if the instant uh, let's get object okay uh, what was earlier a uh, result let's have this result and if result is instance of local date then we can actually pass this one okay guys we need we can now pass this one to local date and And we can have two string here, right? Okay. Otherwise, we'll return 
false right when the passing value we need to ensure that this is the uh, type of string right okay now we can actually pass input right we need we can actually pass this safely to the string now and we can return it okay so that's about the uh, serialization and deserialization okay guys here we need to check this input is string value right if we need to check uh, this input a instance of something called string value right uh, that's the when the schema pass passing uh, it will return as a string value so if this is not a string value we need to return null right okay if else we can return local date dot pass we can safely cast into string value now uh, which is the input and we can here get value right okay so we can remove this return thing okay this is the basic uh, graphql local date conversion class right so you know we can actually format the string to different different patterns here which is using internally iso local date here we have the iso local date otherwise we can pass it to any format by using the uh, local di local date time formatter class right so uh, date time formatter sorry date time formatter class formatter of pattern you can pass the pattern supported by the local date and stuff right so that's how you if you want uh something else than the lock iso pattern you can uh, give it here and pass and format according to that one, right so this is the basic idea of the local date thing now we can actually uh, implement it here uh, let's add let's add private local date of published date right so let's create the get and setter for this one right okay now we have this data right so let's go to the application and i have commented out these things and i can uncomment these things and and the dates of this books right book dot set publish date local date dot of we can pass uh, it is 2019 of 11 then it's say 4 right and we can do the same thing for the book one right book one dot set publish date local date dot off let's say 2020 first month and it's set 10 right okay now we have this data so i need to you know delete the uh, data i have created earlier otherwise application not get started okay it's running so let's stop that one dry okay okay let's run the application uh, meanwhile application getting started let's open the postman and guys make sure that uh, you need to add uh, at component annotation here right so otherwise this won't work okay right okay so let's open the application okay. 
okay this is the graph care thing now if we pass this uh, ISBNs we should get the data right so now application has started I guess yes okay let's try try this one okay so we got those data but we don't have the published date so let's have but uh, I haven't specified this in the in the schema right so he, let's go to the schema and specify that we have something called published date right it's of type local date right and it could be null sometimes right so let's restart the application okay guys uh, you need to stop it little bit because you need to comment this out otherwise it gets stuck okay so uh, basically it tries to reinsert the things uh, it should work with ddl auto update it seems like it's not so i just comment it out so you can figure it out how, what's the error with that one right so later on i'll show you how to you know uh, find that error and make these things always uncommented right okay application is running now uh, so let's try this one okay uh, as you can see now we have the published date correctly serialized right okay guys let's create a book so we can verify that uh, deserialization or the passing thing is or uh, formatting um, passing thing is working also right so let's go to create book and let's set the publish date here and for the isbn let's set 56 and of this pattern right uh, we need to have year month and date year is 2020 and month is 2 and let's have 12 <clears throat> okay now we need to get the okay we but we need to add this uh, published date to the book wrapper right and set that value so we need to go to book wrapper and at private local date published date right <coughs> uh, okay now let's set the getters and setters and and for the mutation resolver we need to you know um, book we need to have book sorry we need to have a book and we can book set the publish date from the book wrapper right uh, another thing we need to do is we need to add publish date local date to the book wrap right so let's restart the application okay guys now it's running so let's hit the get book without make sure that it's working right we got it now we can have this data and send right okay uh, now basically book is created so we can also go to add author method and add this one to the get create add author thing and say okay now 
we have added the author now we can actually get this book using get book method it's created on uh, 212 in this month right so let's go to get book get book and 212 right so this is how you can add uh, in this way you can add the custom scala uh, multiple things you can add multiple scalas uh, according to your requirement right so in the next tutorial we will show you how um, some another tip on the graphql development so if you have anything in your mind please put it in comment section and happy coding guys bye bye thanks for watching